somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. Over there's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at the long-awaited Guardians of the Galaxy 3. This will be a first-time watch for me. Uh, I really enjoyed the first one. The second one was, eh, even though it had my man Kurt Russell in it, but I'm very excited to check this one out. Yeah, I am also, you know, obviously a big, huge Marvel fan, so I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to see how they close this chapter and introduce Adam Warlock. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with the first two. I, I'm in the same boat as Mason Quinn. I think I like the first one just a little bit better, but both of them, I really love these uh, the characters that they have in these movies. Let me talk to you. Here yeah. we go. Yeah. <laughs> love the first one. Second one was still pretty good, but of course it wasn't the first. Still good though. Ready for number three. Break my heart, James Gunn. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> You know, this is interesting with the uh, somber music. Yeah. <laughs> Trash pandas. Is he going to bite him? Wow, what a way to get sucked in right away. Yeah. Especially for Rocket. That is unbelievably lifelike. <laughs> <laughs> the little outfit. <laughs> <laughs> the little... <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I couldn't read that sign, but it still kind of looked like the Guardian's font. Yeah. Michael Rosenbaum. I oh, played Lex Luthor on Smallville. Hi. <laughs> There's our guy. Hey. Uh-uh. I told you a million times you keep your grimy raccoon hands off my suit. I'm not a damn raccoon. Oh. <laughs> Again. There you go. There you go. Yeah. I love you. So what are you going to do about Quill? Me? <laughs> Why not you? I got emotionalistical issues. What am I going to do? Why are you on the ceiling? I want to see if these new gravity boots worked on a slope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you must know you will never learn. You think you could do better? Bye bye. <laughs> hurry up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Telekinesis is cheating. It's a stupid little pebble. I can do that with my dang finger. You're a bad dog. Oh. Talk <laughs> to me. <laughs> Did you hear? He called me a bad dog and he refused to take it back. Peter, okay? What are you going to do? Me? He's your brother. <laughs> Half. Well. Why don't you just touch him and, you know, make him happy? I am Groot. Bro. No, not like that. <laughs> touch him with her powers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it's so brown. You guys got paid? Himself. You guys got paid? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go, squirrel? <laughs> squirrel. Oh, oh Whoa, take a uh... seat. Oh. Oh, oh look at it's your jaw. jaw. There you go, Groot. Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, Vin actually had to do some more voices for this one. <laughs> some super douche with ray gun hands. I don't freaking know. <laughs> oh. oh. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> like, what was that? Who threw this thing at me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Leave him alone. Oh. oh! That wasn't good. Ooh, pick on someone your own size. Oh, oh. <laughs> there you go, Drax. Ah, they just put just that put up. That up. 
We need med parts. About time they showing Drax actually doing some. Yeah, kicking oh, some ass. I spoke too soon. Well, still, he held his own for a minute. Oh, what? Drax is getting his ass beat. Well, he not anymore. Whoa! Oh. Oh, I thought she was gonna lift it up through him. She probably should. Uh, All I did was activate the med packs. Get them off! Oh man! She's <laughs> a little spider now. We need to get him to the med bay. It's destroyed. There's one on the ship. Stitch him up and transfer him in with the rest of Batch 89. Oh, wow. oh look what they did to him. Oh. It's okay. You're here with us now. Eye, face, mouth. Does it work? Oh, oh my goodness. It's okay, friend. Don't let them scare you. Oh. It's okay. A kill switch? Set to destruct if anyone goes poking around inside him, or even if we use the med pack. It looks like there's a passkey that could override the kill switch. Much of the tech was developed by a company called Orgo Corp. 89P13. He's got maybe 48 hours. <sighs> what? Huh. They won't just give us that information. Well, that's why we're gonna break in. And kill anyone who gets in our way. <laughs> kill anyone. Kill a few people. He'll know. <laughs> one guy, one stupid guy who no one loves. <laughs> <laughs> one stupid, stupid guy. guy that nobody loves. Take back what you said that I'm a bad dog. Nope. Can you please take it back? I will not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God, what a hot start that's been so far. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Usually, really uh, usually they give us a little bit of. Yeah, uh, I mean, this yeah. is like the first 20 minutes. Oh, well, the this... walrus has got wheels? Oh, yeah. Gosh, I don't <laughs> like this setup because we're getting introduced to all these cool new characters. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That we're probably gonna fall in love with, and then, and then probably bad lose. Probably gonna happen. <laughs> oh, my poor baby. Do you have it? He does not. His guardians are more powerful than you think. Or perhaps you simply overestimate <laughs> your own value. <laughs> no doubt, a flaw of some type in my own design. I created you lot as merely an aesthetic experiment. And this one was meant to be the warlock. You removed Adam from his cocoon early, my liege. My liege. My liege. I was stabbed, you extraordinary bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He doesn't know any better. You knew of 89P13's existence for years without Close. alerting me. Find 89P13 and return it to me, or I will destroy your entire civilization, as is my right as your maker. Do you understand? Yes. Well, it was always clever, sire. Yes, that's exactly why I want it now. Of course. It's brain. I believe I know where they're going. Oh man, I hope Rocket gets some payback. Uh. <laughs> okay. It's bioformed. Instead of being built, it's grown from living matter. I suppose I was drunk. I hadn't been drinking. That looks a lot like Mr. Fusion. I'm sorry. He's your best friend. Second best friend. Everyone around me dies. My mother, Yondu, Gamora. Gamora isn't dead. She is to us. You want a Zargna? <laughs> You had family on Earth, and you never wanted to go back to see them? It's really just my grandpa, okay? He was a pretty hard guy. You were abducted by Ravagers the same day he lost his daughter. My mom died. He screamed in my face. He pushed me out of the room. He was probably just trying to protect you. He could still be alive. Be like 90-something years old. People on Earth die when they're like 50. <laughs> <laughs> What's even the point of being born? Exactly. <laughs> Are you about to die? I'm not 50. You are upset because so many of the people you cared about have left you. But you also left someone. Maybe I wanted a Zark Knight. It's too late. They're all gone. <laughs> He's going to eat one more, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't we go through? We did. It's not the shield. Oh, hell. Oh, oh 
Uh, bone. Whoa, look at this guy. We have an appointment. We have an appointment. With Gamora. With Gamora. What? Here she is. <laughs> You're gonna have to wear these to move through the orgo without attracting attention. Clashes with my eyes. <laughs> Why would you not tell me that you've been in contact with Gamora? Because I didn't want you to get freaked out. Freaked out. <laughs> I'm doing this for the 100,000 units my sister promised. Never pictured you as the Ravage type. Who are you again? <sighs> They're heavily guarded by the deadly Orgo sentries. Gamora is going to lead you to the records and help you save the hedgehog. <laughs> Squirrel hedgehog. It's functioning as skyrocketed. That's the new world. Counter Earth. That's the sky. Sky. Rocket. Yes, it is. What sounds? That's music. This recording is over 5,000 years old. It's our secret mission to take the cacophony of sounds around us and turn it into a song. An imperfect clump of biological matter such hey, as you. Dude. Oh. And transform it into something. Perfect. Come with me if you want to read. Oh, he swiped oh, something. He's started young with that. Yep. I've developed a process by which I can guide. Yeah, oh, what's gonna, this guy going to be? Going to get Donatello or yeah. what? <laughs> Hopefully Mikey. That. that doesn't look like it's going well. Oh. These specimens are also overproducing the Liga Beta Microsemino protein in their systems. Ah, of course. Causing them to be yeah, well. Yeah. Violent. We don't like it. Uh, uh, oh. oh. They're programmed to be peaceful, like you. Tectonic filters, presolating the glycosylated substance, F cysteine residual be formed, and then they make them. The Liga Beta Microsemino protein. And then. Angry turtles. <laughs> he just solved it for him. <laughs> he did. About your time with us? No, it wasn't me. We loved each other. You were everything to me. Maybe if you, if you open yourself up to it, there's a possibility. I don't think so, Quinn. Oh, well. <laughs> she's talking to you. <laughs> so you're telling me there's a chance. You know this is an open line, right? <laughs> I'm listening to everything you're saying. What color button did you push? Blue for the blue suit. Oh, no. Blue is the open line for everyone. Yeah. Orange is for blue. What? How the hell am I supposed to know all of that? Seems intuitive. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh. Ah, ah. <laughs> Look at that. Yummy. <laughs> Guys. Master Karja. Oh, James Gunn's wife. I was like, God, I know her from somewhere. It's yeah. Gunn's wife. Oh, really? That's cool. So he's got his brother, <laughs> his wife, and then Nathan. I think they're pretty good friends. <laughs> oh! Some sort of anomaly in the decompression chamber. Best you check it out, Master. On it. Hurry! Why is everything so gooey? <laughs> what the hell was that, guys? A neutral cork just hit the satellite. It's burning a hole through the wall. You genius, did you just... Throw the door open without any proper precautionary procedure? What procedure, bro? Oh. <laughs> 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 everyone in the way. You idiots. I'm angry too. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse my friend. He he's the boss's nephew. He's a little <laughs> boss's nephew. I'm so proud. You're doing great. So proud of you. But uh this one I just I thought you said something else. Shut up. 
I'm gonna go to jail for murder. I am. <laughs> the suits. <laughs> the locker. I, I figured it wasn't. Wrap it up. Looks like we're all clear here. Threw them in the contamination bin. Damn it, Mantis! Why don't you ever think? Are we pretending to be angry? Oh, again? Mantis, you asshole! <laughs> <laughs> How the hell is she supposed to know? You know? Nebula Coin and I will get to the records and get the pass key. Oh, no problem. Uh oh. That was something, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, there'd be something with that. I'm gonna need to see your You're hopelessly in love with him. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'll get the door for you. I'll be here when you come back out, okay? Sure. For over 300 years, Orgo Corp has been producing cybernetic implants and genetic upgrades across the universe under the watchful eye of the high evolutionary. Head manager should have access to the records. I'll handle this one. How? Pure Star-Lord charm. Hi, Uda. Hi. Hi, my name's Patrick Swayze. <laughs> <laughs> we need your hand. And it's your choice, whether it's on your body or not. What are you doing? She was never going to fall for that. She was totally into me, man. I kind of thought you were a douchebag. Oh, come on. Oh, what file? See. What file? 89P13. Sounds like a species tag. Gamora ain't messing around at all. Nope. So we got Nolan's crew. We got James Gunn's crew. See, I like it kind of when directors do that a little bit. Yep. Mike Flanagan. How I dare forget him and his crew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every species Orgo Corp has created has its own individual file. This is not the kind of thing we do. Oh, please, stop it with the subtle jabs. Whoever it was that you were in love with, it sounds more like her. Her? What? What? Do what? not bring me into me like a lost puppy needed a soft place to lie down. I didn't say anything. <laughs> lost puppy. <laughs> never noticed how black your eyes were. They were replaced by my father as a method of torture. He, he picked a pretty set. <laughs> <laughs> he shrugged. Oh no. Stand down! Drax, we should make a run for it. Or we could fight. Take off! <gasps> oh! There we go. You're a kitty cat. <laughs> you feel like dancing. Let's kill that one that looks like a carrot to show we mean business. <laughs> <laughs> we are not killing anyone. Back off. <laughs> looks like a carrot. We paid her to help us get in and get out. You no, know, what she means is I'm going to shoot people. We used to be in love. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Nebula's face. Because her dad threw off a magic cliff and she died, and then I lost my temper and nearly destroyed half the universe. Everyone else who died in the past stayed dead. Not her. Why? Was it the magic cliff? I don't know. And then came back a total dick. <laughs> <laughs> Left out some important information, but that is the gist of it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh a leg. <laughs> <laughs> of course it'd be James. Wife. Of course he won. <laughs> His wife takes a hit. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, oh. They're all gonna get captured? Whoa. Get on the ground. We need to get out of here with this to save my best friend's life. If you could get us into the system of those sentries out there, they are good people like you. Please. You are in. Tell them your truth. Yeah, I'm not that big of an idiot. <laughs> Told you she was in the pain. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she had a little bit of a smile Come on, there. Yeah. She was starting to crack. <laughs> <laughs> Is Sky 
No. That's a ceiling. I have been thinking. Since you guys are my closest friends, you might be interested in knowing that I have been thinking. I've been thinking too. When Sire moves us to the new world, we're gonna need names. I would like my name to be Lila. Now they're giving them names, names to get us all mm, yep. invested. I think my name shall be Thieves. We be called Floor. You're lying on a floor, so your name is Floor? Someday, I'm gonna make great machines that fly. And me and my friends are gonna go flying together. Lila, Thieves, Floor, and me. Rocket. Jeez, they're just tugging at the strings now, Jesus. Start the incision here. Hold it still. Jesus, they're oh, watching you. Yeah. This is worse than what Thanos did to me. Well, what about the pass key? No, but a file was removed today. The biometric say it was this man. That's the guy. The high evolutionary? He's created whole societies. Sovereign? The sovereign? Corners of the universe consider him God. I am Groot. Yes. Yes, what? That he's Groot? He said maybe this man downloaded the passkey into the computer on his head. If we find him, we save Rocket. <laughs> what he wants is that gutted badger in the med bay. <laughs> oh. It's almost certainly a trap. Trap isn't a trap. If you know the trap is trying to trap you, it's a face off. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who the high evolutionary is? I don't care. Just drop me off with the Ravagers and you go do whatever it is that you want to do. I'm not asking you drop me off with my people now. Your people? Listen, I know you were always looking for a family, but my Gamora, the one I love, she didn't find it with a group of criminals. She found it with us. Somewhere inside of you. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no, it's trashed. Why are you so angry? About your Gamora. Life made me me. I have a few upgrades courtesy of that gutted badger in the med bay, and we are not risking his life to make yours more convenient. I'm family. So is he. The Screw all of you. The roles have changed mm -hmm. for... Yeah. Wow. But like, Sisters there. Like, does she have some place she needs to be? Like, why is she so pissed? <laughs> a Zeho berry named Gamora. Drink it not there from me! Oh, we'll see about that. Adam! Yes, mother. Show him we mean business. He's gonna go too far with that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> A little too far. Not disintegrate him. What more business could we have shown him? Question the man's friend. friend! You think that's a friend? I really don't enjoy how that's making me feel, actually. Come on, are you there? <laughs> oh, no. Outpost coming. Salutations. Upload the location link to the craft. Oh, genius, Gamora. I will say it's pretty interesting writing uh, how they kept Rocket out but kept him in mm -hmm. through the backstory. It's actually pretty cool. Why don't you just say it? No one ever listens to me. Quill, life is a pond, and you've spent your entire life leaping from woman to woman as if they are lily pads upon this great pond. Perhaps what you need to do is learn to swim. That actually made sense. Yes, it made sense. No, lots of analogies, Quill. <laughs> analogies, metaphors, etc. Gamora's head is like a lily pad because it is green. Analogy. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, I made a poop shaped like a fish. <laughs> Even my butt is capable of making an analogy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the fluid is in his lungs. Oh, hello. Come on. Oh, hey, why be a dick about it, man? How did you know? The kangaroos? Whoa. <laughs> Is it going to have an Australian accent? That's all I need to know. What happened in there? Uh, it was too little filtration. In the hypotonic, yes, we know. We fixed that. But how did you know? How did you know? Because it worked. We have the peaceful creatures we always sought. We're going to the new world? Be part of a perfect species. Y you're simply a <sighs> medley of mistakes we could learn from and apply to the creatures that truly mattered. But that brain, that I'd like to study further. So there's why he wants his brain. Yep. Prep it for surgery and removal in the morning. Oh, what about the rest no. of Batch 89, Sai? No. Incinerate them. 
He's dying. God, just hearing <sighs> the wheezing from Rocket just mm -hmm. gets you a little bit. Huh. That's what he that looks just like. That's what he made. It's like a replica of Earth. Look at that What's car. With the cars. Yeah. Oh, it's like an old Russian car. <laughs> and uh -huh. The hell is that? I think that's a bat. Oh, I remember that. A bat, yeah. That is a bat. That. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> is Drax gonna biff tan in it? <laughs> oh! See? <laughs> we just need to save our friend. Gamora is here. Which means the squirrel is also. Vampire bat woman. I'm sorry, but the bad faces are creeping me out. <laughs> they got the lasers. The lasers. <laughs> the family photos. Laser pictures. Ah! It's not rude. It's what it's here for. Drax, sit up. <laughs> Idiots. Our friend is dying. Oh. He's not dying. That's already dead. They'll think we're here on a quest for revenge. <laughs> Sit up. That's what it's here for. Drax, it isn't. Find it hard to play. It doesn't have multiple purposes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw the man that we're looking for. <laughs> he has a thing. That is delightful. This. Hmm. Have you seen this man? <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Can I have that later to hang in my apartment, please? His name? His name is Motio? Eo. Eo. Axilio, Maxilio, Tado. Motio's egg. Lolo. There? Oh. At the pyramid. Oh. Dragon! <laughs> <laughs> you know what to do with these. Push down on it. Push the button. There's a button under the handle. Press that in. Now what? <laughs> Open the fucking door. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first half bomb, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. Oh, I was gonna say, awesome. he, sure know, he doesn't really know how to drive right. a car. Yeah. Okay, why would I know any more about driving one of these things than you do? I'll drive. I don't want you to drive. I got this. <laughs> Crew in the back. <laughs> I'm just happy we got an F bomb in the old yeah. Marvel universe. Oh, here. we have to get us prepared for Deadpool three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not counting Deadpool, that is. Yeah. Just want to highlight that, folks. You must be a really loyal pet. They're willing to do all this for you. I really feel like when there's a new song and it gets loud, I feel like it's introducing a, a new chapter of sorts mm. in this story. Oh, she just sounded uh, Cole's backpack. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh Panthro. Panthro. <laughs> Panthro. An elf. elf cards. Elf. Yep. Fan throw. <laughs> oh, what 80s kid didn't have that one? Oh, oh there's the Grandpa. Tank. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought he created a perfect utopia. Perfect yeah. Okay, that looks like that's in like an actual human kid there, though. This one has been running for two hours without breaking a sweat. It's incredible. They can survive on 30 calories a day and have a sleep a week. They're always happy, oh. and they can rewire a carbonetric core in under two minutes. They're here. God, they're making making it real easy to hate that guy, which mm -hmm. is great. <laughs> so bebop and rock and rock. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was just gonna say. He stays here. Why? Policy against weaponry, and your arm is a gun. Oh, Eve Clay. Let's go. <laughs> Not the voice I was expecting. No. Hey, what a, Groot still's got him. Yep, that's right. He's hiding him somewhere. They didn't, I don't even think they scanned him. No. Mm -mm. Oh, oh Jesus. Are you okay, Rocket? Me, Rocket, play now? I can't right now, Floor. He's been stealing parts this mm -hmm. whole time. Yep. Mm -hmm. He's been swiping them. We're going to the new world any day now. They want to kill us all in the morning, but I'm going to fix it. It's a key. I'm going to use it to get us all out of here. Just down that hall, there's ships. I know. And if we could get to one, I could pilot it. And then we'll all fly away together. The four of us. Just like we always said, okay? Yes. All right. I don't like that music. 
I didn't like all those sparks before. Oh, okay, good. Oh, I thought yeah. it was maybe a one-shot deal. Yeah. Oh my god. No. Fucking oh, Yes, god. I imagined you'd do something like this. Just right over there? Yeah. <laughs> it's already <laughs> smiling. Come on. Hey, yeah, you. The pass key, it's in that thing on your head. I would advise against aggression. You got time for me now? Well, pig. No. Counter Earth? I visited your planet many years ago. Earth hasn't been my planet in a long time. Your people had wonderful spirit. The art and music and literature. It inspired me to create counter -up. I don't care. I don't need another speech by some impotent whack job whose mother didn't love him rationalizing why he needs to conquer the universe. I'm not trying to conquer the universe. I'm perfecting it. Oh. Yep. War pig got on there. Drop the badger. Oh! oh. I am He says, suck my... Why are you so angry? Because I know what you did to our friend. Anything I've done, I've done for the betterment of the universe. Better universes generally don't include a bunch of octopuses selling meth to guys with cockroach heads. I'm going to have to raise it all and start again. She's going to wipe out the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, it's going to uh. restart. I got an 89 p 13 and I'm on my way. The whole thing's a ship. There we there go. You go. Kill them all. Oh, well, not today. What the hell? We're working for the same boss. I need the credit, chum, to save my entire civilization. <laughs> oh! 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 oh. <laughs> not the whole head. Oh, oh. right in front of her. Mother. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, he's gonna be pissed. <laughs> Nebula, come in! Gamora! Take off now! What kind of ship is this? It was so obviously a trap. It's not a trap. It's a face-off. What do you have in your hat? <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> I told you. <ya. laughs> oh! <laughs> I only thought he had two! Yeah. Friendly. Oh, that was nice. like going all out here. Yeah. This is awesome. Well, at least his power seems to come from the suit. No, 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 no. What the? <laughs> Quite a novel escape plan. Jumping at first into an exploding planet. Some oh, he's got wings! <laughs> Drew just grew wings! Tree wings! <laughs> oh! He's just gonna cut that thing off? Well, he doesn't have Drax there to peel it off his head like the other dude. Yeah. Pull harder! 
Let's go. Oh, that's close. Oh. <laughs> I thought for sure it was going to get destroyed. It's hard to breathe. We are entering space. Oh, oh, oh those wow. are all the kids. What the hell? Wow. So he didn't have just one of those kids. He's got a whole bunch of them. Where are Mantis and Drax? I don't know. You're lucky I was able to knock down that door. Like I'm probably dead because of you. When are you going to stop using the excuse of being some big dumb clown for contributing nothing and the rest of us having to carry this slack? Don't push him. The only thing we can count on you for is when someone shows weakness, you'll be right there to support it. Fine. I don't care. It's not his fault. He's stupid. He's oh. a liability. <laughs> he makes us laugh. All you care about is intelligence and... And competence. Not sure I appreciate this defense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Forget. You're lucky I was able to knock down that door with my incredible strength. Jib jib. That language isn't in my translator. This better work. Oh, he's seen the light. Oh, I rock Go. Lila? Friend. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I got you killed. The sky is beautiful, and it is forever. And I've been flying with our friends. Oh, teeth and floor. Could I come? Yes. No, 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 no. No! 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 Well, I'm not gonna lose him. He's gone. I'm not letting him go. But not yet. Oh. You still have a purpose here. Whew. A purpose for what? There are the hands that made us, and then there are the hands that guide the hands. My beloved raccoon. I'm not a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> Pasky's going through. <laughs> yeah. Family. Smile. Mm -hmm. Nebula? Where are you? Oh, thank God. We're here to get you out of here. Out of where? The high evolutionary ship. No, I got off the ship. Why are you on the ship? Just saying. You, obviously. Tell him I said hi. <laughs> well, we're coming to save him. How did you get out? That's not really important. I am Groot. The important thing is, we're all okay. Rocket? Yeah, he's here. Rocket, oh, your he pages. hears the voice. Oh. You know what? Fuck this guy. Mm hmm. You'd like to joust, would you? You killed all of those people. As I will your friends. They will die unless you bring me what is mine. Screw you. You stretch-faced robocop looking <laughs> skeletor wannabe purple nurple piece of <sighs> purple nurple. <laughs> 1966. The Soviets put me on a rocket in a fight. Hey, oh, Lord. <laughs> but one thing even Mutak Soviets never do is call me bad dog. <laughs> He's so <laughs> awful. <laughs> Just take it uh, back. He was this from the first one. Yep. Us. I can't take it back if she is, in fact, a bad dog. Oh, hey, Pete. We need to save Nebula, Mantis, and Drac, and we need your help. The Hellspawn had it, sire. But what, 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 what? They can rewire a carbonetrix core in under two minutes. In hundreds of years of our creations, only one has known true invention. 89P13 had that. Maybe they did that purposely? We need 89P13's brain so we can transfer that trait into these creatures before we go to the new colony. Nothing else matters. <gasps> oh, oh, again! Yeah. She keeps getting scorpioned. How did they get down here? Chip, chip. You! Oops. We need you to let all the other children on board know to stay away from the starboard walls. They know three freaking words and two of them are jube. Hello, dumb idiots. 
<laughs> beep. Beep, beep. How's that a monkey? <laughs> I like a lick, Frank Eck. No, no, lucky Eck. Bjorn is Eck. Yo, yo, juju. Juju. Ah, look who's not stupid at all. Why didn't you tell us you knew their language this whole time? Why didn't you ask? Fair. Mm. <laughs> well, because I always thought he was an idiot. Mm. Feel free to stay behind in the cargo area. This you? Fell out of your bag. No, oh, is it them? Yeah. Oh, no, it's... Well, family. it's him as a kid and then a grandpa. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was going to be Gamora. Yeah, those two, I should have yeah. known because they had the picture earlier. Yeah. Should have known. Uh, so is Warlock still on the ship yet? I believe he I is. I believe so. Yep. It's a great question. <laughs> yeah, he's he's still there because he was back on the, the bay. Yeah, I think that's going to be a nice surprise mm -hmm. coming here. Yeah, there, there it is. is. You freaking creep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this guy, he's always friggin' yelling. It's driving me up a wall. <laughs> he's doing a great job to uh, make you hate him. Yes, these are the hell spawn. Uh, yep. Hell? These are supposed Whoa. to be people to. Whoa. Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> he just keeps crashing in the middle of everything. Yep. <laughs> it looks like they're still going to get in. Kraken, we have been infiltrated. Sire, our bargaining power will be gone. <laughs> oh, remember one of those guys? That they fought is... at the begin. They fought just one at the beginning of two. Oh, she turning. She turned baby face. Oh, oh, does that look like what floor was supposed to be? The rabbit with the, like the spider arms. Yeah. Oh. oh boy. Man, poor nowhere keeps getting attacked. Oh, oh, that's a lot of goo. One more step and this weird thing gets it. <laughs> Don't be rash. Don't be rash. <laughs> What were you programming? Self-destruction code. Oh. Well, I don't think that's gonna matter. Oh, yeah, yeah, but. No way. It's okay. Mantis, stop. Maybe they're just scared of what we are gonna do to them. We're not gonna hurt you. Well, that's a twist I didn't see coming. I, I was waiting for the swallow just like it did the Drax. It's like uh, loving monsters. <laughs> the big ones are nice. Yeah. Well, some of them. Use your heart, boy. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, 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 we yes. got him. Yes. Oh. <laughs> that a boy. Oh, he is in. taking them all Yo. out. Yeah. Except this one. A dog that can well, do that's, this. That's, that's telekinesis. Dog that's yep. got telekinesis. Oh, he's going to smash it together. She's a good dog. you believe I'm good dog? Sire, we must retreat. The ship is going down. For God's sake. There is no God. That's why I stepped in. Oh, this guy. Jesus. Yeah. Turn face. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, toodles. Gosh, everyone. All personnel, head to the starboard spaceport. Get me. Leave nine B one three. Then kill the rest. No sleep. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Look who's here. Be riding them. New game plan. We get the hell out of here now. There are thousands of creatures on the ship. Many of them are children. We need to be good, Juju. They will all die if we don't help them. 
Rock's oh, not gonna he's let not, that happen. Yeah, he's not letting this happen again. No. I'm done running. Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, you know, Groot's gonna go with him. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's his family. <laughs> Look at this. Like the Boy, Groot. Get the tree eye view of oh! Groot. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, 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 look at her neck. Okay, there we yeah. go. Oh. oh! Oh! That was pretty sweet. Yeah, that was pretty graphic. There he is. Look at. <laughs> <laughs> That's to me a pilot to ship. You guys save all the high and light forms. Hello, moron. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> um, th this way to a. I can't fly this freaking thing. The flight controls are all screwed. I'll do it. I wonder if they'll add that in Fast Eleven. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> are those kids? Okay, Cosmo, stitch it up. It needs to be airtight for the kids to make it across. <laughs> this way, this way. Why are you doing this? I tried to kill you. I am good. She says everyone deserves a second chance. Oh, no, no, no. oh. oh. come on, Cosmo. First rocket. Oh, oh yeah, still has it, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Yep. Taking too long. I know. I don't like how this is being. He's, gonna, he's gonna be behind him again. North America. Go. Raccoon. Raccoon. There's so many. Yeah, these are all the ones he wants to put in that uh, chamber. You thought you could escape me? No. Uh, you are an abomination! Uh, the name's Rocket. Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> oh, no! oh, nice. Short out that suit. Oh, there's nice. Groot. Oh, oh yeah! Man. Finally. To say everybody deserves to get their licks in on this guy. Oh! Oh, his face is peeling off. She's gonna do it, isn't she? Oh! Oh! Are we gonna see it? Oh! Oh! His I want face to... came off. <laughs> it was a face off. Oh, that's a rocket did to him. You didn't want to make things perfect. You just hated things the way they are. Kill him. Why? Because I'm a freaking guardian of the galaxy. <laughs> we have to get out of here now. The rest of them. <laughs> they're all going to be covered in animals. <laughs> back. Just wait. They're all going to be running. Just wait. That elephant has. I was going to say, yeah. you <laughs> hey. have some wrong one. Yep. Move it, bird. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a pig. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh these guys. Go. That the too? babies? She said bigger? babies. Oh no. You know who's got to go out and get him? No. Oh, it's holding him back. Yeah. Warlock's got to go get him. Oh, just like in one, remember? Oh. Oh, yeah, he can't do it. Uh. 
Are we gonna lose Quill? Whew. Yeah. Well, but even so, I mean, can he come back from that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all yeah. frozen and stuff. Okay, his face was. Peter. <laughs> Dude, the amount of teases in this. They yeah. did. They executed that great. Yeah. <laughs> 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 looks bad. He's the yellow guy. It's Kimura doing... <sighs> well, he's going to go find her later. She wasn't ready for it yet. She sees what kind of a person he is. Mm -hmm. And, and what he would do. I am Groot. It's good working with you two. You know, I'm still not who you want me to be. But who you are ain't so bad. Ah, uh, he thought he was gonna... Get her to stay. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. Well, maybe. I bet we were fun. Oh, you wouldn't believe. <clears throat> so, you're gonna leave? My mother died in front of me when I was eight years old, and I have been running ever since. I'm going to need to take some time and learn how to swim. I as well. I need to go out and discover what I want. I'll come with you. No, Trax. But you need someone to protect you just because of your incredible weakness. <laughs> <laughs> I need all the support I can get for those children out there. I saw who you are. You weren't born to be a destroyer. You were born to be a dad. So that's it? The galaxy still needs its guardians, and you will make a better leader than I ever was. I love you guys. Hey! <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> oh! Oh! 2000s. They've never heard music before, no. probably. Mm-hmm. Well, he, like he did heard. somewhat on the ship, but it wasn't anything like this. Yeah. Remember, it was like the 5,000-year-old stuff. <laughs> okay, okay, so he saved the dance for last. Yep. Let's see what he did. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> taking him. Welcome home. Ah. Still, I still wanted her to be. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah. Selfishly. Yeah, maybe in the next one. Yeah, let's not forget about Warlock losing his mom. I'm looking for Jason Quill. Yes. Come in. There he oh, is. Oh, they got the same actor. Hey. He's moving pretty good for 90. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how about your favorite musical act? Britney Spears and Corn. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Adrian Ballou. What about you, Captain? Oh, this one's kind of special. <laughs> From the very first one. <laughs> the open. Don't, don't. <laughs> Group, wake up. Oh. oh, he's huge. On your work, Captain. <laughs> God, I love that dog. <laughs> Word. <laughs> her hands are nice. Sort of. Yeah. Man, she needs help mowing her lawn. I'll do it, but I kind of feel like her son should help. Able body and I'm mowing his lawn. It just mm -hmm. feels weird. Don't get me started. Alien abduction, Kevin Bacon shares <laughs> all. <laughs> the <Christmas> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's awesome. That's that was a nice one. Legendary. Yes. yes. Oh, <laughs> All right, oh. folks. There it was. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three did not disappoint. And then write and a note. <laughs> not a single just, one for the. I'm answer. just so tuned in. I had many notes that, <laughs> that I wrote down. Um, the thing that threw me. I guess I'll start off with a couple of things. I'm gonna kind of work through it, uh, start to finish. You know things I like, things I questioned. Um, obviously, you know, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. You know what you're getting. It's going to be 
a lot of silliness and obscure things mixed in with seriousness at the same time time nobody does outlandish creatures like james gunn does in this universe of marvel and and even the, obviously the stuff he did with you know suicide squad um i really like the obscure music that he picks it's not mainstream stuff it's very obscure and i'm i'm sure a lot of this jumps to the top of the charts mm -hmm. after he features it we saw that with wigwam those guys blew up after peacemaker uh so that was a lot of fun and i, I like how he does it he picks very obscure music so that's a lot of fun uh the one thing that 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 I didn't get was, and maybe you guys can help me out in the comments, or maybe you guys can, but why is Gamora so mad all the time? Like, the whole first hour and a half, two hours of the movie, she was just pissed the whole time, and I get... You know, she's maybe upset about, you know, Pete always coming on to her and wanted like, no, you were, you were this that, person, you were this person, you need to be, you know, we used to be in love, don't you remember, sort of thing. She's like, no, I'm not that person anymore, but she was always mad all the time. So that's the one thing I, I'm not too sure about. I need some help on that. Well, you know, in this one too, to kind of piggyback off that quick, right. Nebula, she kind of had way more rage in this one vocally mm. i mean she's yeah. always yeah, like, kind of angry yelling at the kids and yeah. everything. this one it was just like vocally <laughs> yelling, just, yelling yelling non-stop and uh and they gave us a fantastic villain that you absolutely love to hate and, and mm -hmm. to go off that same uh kind of line i guess is that here's another villain who's always pissed all the time yelling in every single scene completely evil to everybody just you know an egomaniac a guy you just love to hate with zero redeeming qualities whatsoever you know a lot of times marvel likes to sometimes give us a cool villain where you're like ah oh, he's this guy's a real ass but he's kind of cool or obviously everybody i think uh I'm not going to say has a soft spot for Thanos, but I think everybody kind of has a way they look at Thanos where he's very different than a guy like this villain was. Mm. Uh, so a fantastic job of a villain that everybody loved to hate. Like, you know, I think we were like an hour in or hour and a half in, and I'm just like, is somebody going to shut this guy up? I can't wait for how satisfying this dude's death's going to be. But then he ended up uh, not getting it. So is he locked away someplace? What did they do with him? I think maybe rocket just let him sit there to suffer. Yeah, the whole it, the whole ship exploded. Well, <laughs> hey, Dave, you didn't see it? It didn't happen. That's our rule. Well, his so, face was ripped off. So who knows? Well, he could come back as uh, Red Skull too, maybe. Who knows? But uh, no, so those are those are some of the things that I like. Some of the things I had questions about. Uh, again, answer like I always say: if we didn't see it, we don't know if it didn't happen. Is this guy going to be back? I hope not, because he was like one of the most annoying villains I'd ever seen. But what a way to tug at the heartstrings, yeah. having like. Do you think James Gunn sat around and said, "Hey guys, what are the cutest animals that everybody loves?" So guys, are like, well, I like otters. Wow, rabbits are always cute. How about walruses? They're kind of big and funny. Okay, those are the guys we're going to make. Yeah, kangaroos, turtles, and uh, we're going to end up having the villain do terrible things to him, and everybody's going to hate him. So absolutely lights out with the villain. And this one was a ton of fun. Again, it was, it was what you expect out of Guardians. I really enjoyed it. I was nervous. I thought we were going to lose quill i thought we we're gonna lose rocket uh, because everybody said you know uh, it was all really sad have your tissues ready and that sort of thing but well, uh i <sighs> it was very sad yes don't get me wrong when when uh you know rocket lost his friends but i really thought we were losing a main character in this one i really did uh for me it was definitely the part where we saw him into the light and we thought he was gone and came back yeah i walled up I, i'll admit it i was i wasn't ready to see any of these guys go i mean we we've you know since lost iron man and stuff but diamond dave and i have come a long way f since watching it in the front row at the theater <laughs> that was brutal back folks. when you couldn't pick the seats uh but like yeah <laughs> straight up dave see what happened in the corner over there <laughs> i missed it <laughs> but this was so much fun it had emotion it had laughter it really made you hate the villain like you said he because like the only part that he showed any sort of like sympathy or like you know that you might like him is when he's talking to baby rocket and he's like showing him the sky and the new world and promising yeah, then him he then he was gonna see him but then he changed it right there he grabbed the skull and then just the way then he would shove him back in the cage and everything like that and just and he he knew that rocket was special just like we all knew and 
it was great to see his backstory. He had never really wanted to talk about it. I mean, some comic book people knew it and it, they were waiting for this to come out and to see this. And we got to see, cause he only hinted at it. Like, were you tortured like me in the previous two? And that's as far as he would go. And then you saw him and he saw the relationship he had with a th with Floor, <laughs> Lila, and Toof, or Teef, 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 Teef. Teef. and it, like, it was a great job even done by them just to really make you feel for them and so it was tough to see them get lost as well but i did like warlock having a nice redemption because you knew once mother was gone you know you didn't know which way he was gonna go and when finally groot hit him with the you know everyone deserves a second chance he made the most of it and as we see there's a new guardians of the galaxy and uh it's led by rocket I don't know that I've ever seen a movie that's done this type of job at pulling every single mm -hmm. human emotion from <laughs> you in one production. Uh, th this movie was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I loved the backstory. I loved how dynamic the range of emotions were from the characters. Um, you know, it was one, I, di I didn't take a single note, you know? It's like, you know... In today's day and age, everybody goes to concerts, they got their cell phones out, they're recording it, whatever, and you just always have like those handful of people that don't bother and they're just there like in the moment. <laughs> like I feel yeah. like that's how I felt with this movie. It was like, I, this has got to be one of the best Marvel movies hands down that I've ever seen. And I mean, just all around as, you know, a, a, a work of entertainment, like this movie was damn near perfect. Mm -hmm. Uh, I loved Rocket's backstory. It was emotional. Um, it was very interesting that we saw the other test animals have voices because we learned, you know, they, they, man, they, they hit you really hard. Just even though they were test subjects, they had hopes and dreams of, of going to a better place and arguably the, the worst place they could be in the world. They found, you know, they found hope and they found positivity in each other. And it was like, I mean, there was, it was, it was, comical at times teeths and floor and stuff like that you know but like man in, in the end when when floor was like saying let's go now go now panicking it was like holy shit like that like really pulled at you you know yeah we saw so much more range from the other uh the other actors of course drax always the comic relief but at the end we saw him take on of course they said the dad role um nebula like we saw some compassion there yes she was angry for parts of the movie um we saw a nice kind of character arc for um for gamora from the beginning to the end like realizing why you know that uh, that that she would have had a relationship with quill um just just everybody's characters the addition of the dog i mean what a, <laughs> what a, what a solid addition is so powerful a, a dog that had telekinesis powers but was so hung up that they said he was a bad boy or a bad dog i mean th this I, I like i go into all these marvel movies expecting that i'm going to enjoy it but i am like floored by how good this movie was and uh i've uh, i don't know like this is the the, the um, usually not at much of a loss for words and i know i've talked a lot already but for me this is about as, as speechless as i think i get this movie was amazing yeah for me uh you know i have quite a bit of stuff here i tried to kind of be like you a little bit just kind of more stay in the moment kind of jot a note down so i wouldn't forget I didn't want to like dive in too much on that stuff, but hey, bravo, James Gunn. If this was yeah. your last to rob, most likely it is. Went out uh, with a bang. <laughs> well done with the characters here. Uh, I'll kind of start with some of the, the notes I had. Uh, what's great compared to, I'm sorry, Quinn, I got to pick on this. Fast X, <laughs> at least in here. And I'm, yeah, I know I'm doing some low hanging fruit, but I'm just trying to give the comparison. You know, they had this, we were worried about characters. You said you were worried about some main characters go. I was worried about the characters, because I'll be honest, that trailer, when we did a reaction to it, I think it said it in there, you know, I'm worried for the way they had Rocket set up in that. And especially when you think it's the last one. Yeah, right. yeah especially that too. So it's just like, man, are they going to take some characters away from us so we get like a big emotional punch, you know, going in to, you know, further storytelling. Uh, so I thought that was great with, especially 
the emotion, like you guys were saying, that it makes it, that James Gunn and crew drew out of you for these CGI animals. I mean, it's fantastic on how you, we, we were kind of joking around. Maybe it made the cut, maybe not. But, you know, we were joking around about, oh, you were saying like, oh, they're, they're making them talk. They're giving yep. us names or whatever it was you Get said. Attached. Giving us oh, names so we can get more attached. Yep. I know we were kind of kidding like, oh, I don't like how they're setting this up. But, man, uh, I thought that was really well executed because then, boom, you weren't expecting it. At least I wasn't in that moment with uh, uh, the outer uh, Layla. Layla. Or Lila. Wasn't, yeah, Lila. Yeah. Lila. Yeah. Wasn't expecting that at all. And then for the others to go out like they did, was not expecting that either. I thought it was going to be some kind of like quick explosion over here and Rocket had to go. But yeah. the way you did that was excellent. Uh, Rocket's backstory, it was great for a non-comic reader mm -hmm. to kind of see that piece together. So folks, let us know. Did they kind of take some liberties? Was it actually pretty close? I'm, I'm really interested in hearing that. Uh, Warlock, I'm going to I'm gonna lean on all of you for this one. Yeah. What was your thoughts compared to comic War Adam Warlock versus James Gunn's Warlock that we got here? Because I'm rem I can't remember which uh, reaction it was where we did get Adam Warlock, where we had a lot of comments talking about how powerful he is. I don't know if he was kind of underutilized. Yeah, I mean, he was in the beginning. He was in the beginning. And, and it seemed to be like that kind of petered off a little bit. Yeah, and again, I don't know too much about him. I right. just kind of remember reading some comics or uh, comments about him being pretty badass. Yeah. Right. I feel like... It Come yeah, he comics, had... he's defeated Thanos twice uh, by fooling him, and by, uh, but usually it's because he's smarter, which usually is tough because Thanos himself is just as smart. So even just that little tidbit, if that is even close, right? Mm -hmm. uh, again, still help me out here. I feel like then on that, and maybe what maybe some of you might say is, and some of the comments, I feel like maybe they kind of did a slight disservice and uh, maybe maybe i don't want to be triggering yeah, I mean, anyone if, when i if, say that but. i mean let's call it what it is if he took out thanos he shouldn't be able to just run rough shot over that whole crew that was coming at him because i, I was expecting when all the hellfire came out or whatever they were called yeah. the hell spawns or whatever mm -hmm. i thought he was going to come out just bing 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 and take care of them all but, but it, we needed everybody yeah. else to have yeah. that and, it, and it does seem like he's maybe younger and maybe he doesn't yeah. know all his powers yet maybe that he's could easily not be the at, guy who beat thanos yet because remember what they said too right. they cracked the egg too early right okay so now Thank you for reminding me of that. So that yeah. makes more sense of why Adam then was here. But still, I want to know your comments on what you thought of Adam Warlock in here. Because if he was premature, mm -hmm. then that makes sense of why he was right. the way he was in here. Yep. Um, high evolutionary. Man, did that actor <sighs> do a, such a phenomenal yes. job? I'm still mad at him right now. The movie's <laughs> yeah, right. over and I'm still <laughs> not sad. I'm still not satisfied. It reminded me of Anthony, Anthony Mackie in 8 Mile where I hated him until oh, he became man. <laughs> with, uh, tip Falcon. The, yeah, tip of the hat to you yeah. because, man, you made me, like, I held back on saying some stuff. It was, it's more along the lines, you piece of shit. Yes. Like, yeah. How dare you grab rocket like that? That's what I was saying in my head. Mm -hmm. yep. But again, phenomenal job because you were a great in Peacemaker. You were great in here. I just can't. Um, I'd butcher your name, otherwise I'd say it. Oh so yeah. Thank you for your phenomenal job here. And uh, someone was mentioning it here. I don't know if he. I think it was you, Quinn. We didn't see it. He's not gone. Yep. Yeah. That's the rule. That's how I'm basing it. Yep. So, uh, otherwise, again. Phenomenal. Bravo, James Gunn, and all the crew. Phenomenal job by the casting crew. Uh, thank you all for your service here, and hopefully we get some more Star-Lord. <laughs> Bring it on. I'm ready yep. for that. And if this was, hey, if this was Dave Batista's last time as Drax, oh, thank you very oh, much. He went out big. We really appreciate it. So Yeah, I mean, yeah. the big thing is, uh, you know, for a casual Marvel, DC comic book fan, you know, I don't know if these characters to begin with were even really that popular, or that well known. So I think it just goes to show how good of a job James Gunn did to bring these guys into the mainstream as characters and have three successful movies that everybody was able to get behind because there's been a lot of comic book movies that have 
big <laughs> thumbs down, right? And it's like, well, why? I mean, the, they're characters from comic books. They have a backstory. It just goes to show how important a quality director is, good writers, actors who can deliver. I mean, all that matters to bring it together and make it work because, I mean, nobody, I, I never heard of the Guardians of the Galaxy whatsoever Very until the first life. one came Very out. Sparingly. So it just, I heard that's, of Star -Lord. that's what impresses me the most is what James Gunn was able to do with all these characters in his whole franchise, keep it as goofy as he did, but yet serious enough, the full range of emotions, like you were saying, Oak, you had every single one in this movie. You what really did. I mean, this was this was phenomenal. And 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 just to kind of mirror what he was saying, like when, you know, of course, uh, you know, when Iron Man comes out, you know, Iron Man, Captain America, the Hulk, and, you know, the X-Men, those movies come out. I remember when the first Guardians of the Galaxy came out, like, like who? Like, what? The, <laughs> yep. What? Star-Lord, Drax the Destroyer. I like... <laughs> Okay, you know, and you go, you see the first one, you're like, ah, oh, they've got a talking raccoon. That's pretty, that's yeah. pretty fun. Chris Pratt's into the you know, <laughs> quills into 70s music, yep. you know, that's, yep. that's pretty cool. You know, a tree that says nothing, but I am Groot. I, I mean, it was, Groot. it was fun, but you know, when you, when you go into that first one, you never would have imagined, mm. you know, where this trilogy would have gone. And I mean, just huge kudos to everybody involved from start to finish on these. Oh, and the one they really got me with was the, you you can go, but not yet. Not yet. You can come, but not that yet. That was great. Oh, God. That was great. That got me. I'm Big up, time. Yep, I'll be waiting for another movie we're doing pretty soon that's like that. So, well, Hopefully. What a great end to the trilogy. Hopefully we see more. We cannot wait. Oh, do we have scores? Gotta we still got to give scores. Jeez, yeah. that's correct. So you go ahead. Well, I'll start off. I'm giving it a five. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, I thought it was great. Amazing. Yep. What more can you say? Well, I'm, I'm just kidding, guys. That's a five <laughs> out of five answers. Absolute perfection. James Gunn does it again. Everything that comic book movie should be, this was. One of the easiest fives that I've ever given for this channel. Hands down, five. If we can go now higher, here's, I would. Here's the question I'm not giving now. it a five, but it's a 4.5. 4.5. Ah. Ah. Uh, Simon Cowell over yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. I mean, yeah. it's better than two. I still hold one right. as my, like... You know, just because it was fresh, introduced me to, you know, the Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy, all that stuff. So for me, 4.5, phenomenally done, just because I, was, I didn't give it the extra say, five. Now you I should know. be emotionally involved. So. Uh, hey, I was emotionally that's where, that's attached where, That's where it gets up to the five. <laughs> well, again, I, I stated some of my confusions with, uh, like, with Adam Warlock and whatnot. Yeah, uh, okay, so, I gotcha. You. You know, yeah, that's fair. And I will say James Gunn is, again, that guy and his team do... Is, does such a phenomenal job of making you care for these wild ass characters that you'll never even see like Cosmo the dog, uh, a raccoon, <laughs> a whole, uh, you know, a whole oh. spaceship that's a living creature with hair nowhere. Yeah. and then nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just fantastic. Yeah. And kudos yeah. to his wife for taking one in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how he has his own crew, like Nolan has his own crew, Flanagan has oh. his own crew. Yeah. I actually kind of dig that with the uh, directors when they yeah. do, do that. Has I don't want crew. it happening with every director. Well, yeah. yeah. It's cool that with these little pocket of people that we got. Yeah, Scorsese with Leo and yep. uh, De Niro. Tarantino's got his crew. Yeah. Leo's everywhere, though. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Don't want to turn this into a Leo thing. <laughs> no. but yeah. oh, Well, the end of the Leo cast is, uh, no, Ford, Diamond Dave, <laughs> Appleton Oak, Mason Quill. No, it's Mason Quinn. And, of course, the answer. Quinn. Quill. Good night, pals. Quill. I love that she called him Quinn. <laughs>